What up everybody? I'm doing my first uh, review from uh, Jenny Loop jerseys on a few NFL, uh, NBA, and I think I got a couple uh, collegiate jerseys from Jenny Loop NFL jerseys.ru just to show you guys the quality and what kind of stuff you can expect if you order from uh, Jenny Loop. And one quick thing, uh, I did a little bit of research just watching the YouTube reviews, just looking at the different sites and seeing what's what. And um, I was choosing between rep jerseys and Jenny Loop and I ended up going with Jenny Loop because one of my friends that I'm getting jerseys for, he wanted this NBA um, Sean Kemp throwback and they didn't have it on rep jerseys. So I went with Jenny Loop and I even heard that it might even be the same site. So who knows, like all those sites seem to use the same stock photos and it's like a crapshoot <laughs> when it comes to actually getting the jerseys, knowing if it's going to look like that picture or what, because it seems like even if you order from the same site, they're getting the jerseys from different um, factories. So you'll see further along in my video that some of the same team's jerseys, same color and everything like that, there are a little bit of differences, like some of them will have a different shade of a certain color. Um, the Nike suit should be a different color. Uh, even the, the neck size or, or the NFL shield might look a little different. So you'll see it when we go through. I got a few different teams. I got some um, Raiders jerseys, got some Minnesota Vikings jerseys, um, got a couple Chiefs jerseys for a few of my friends. I uh, should have charged them a little bit extra just for them being Chiefs fans, but we'll start it off with the Raiders and the first jersey we're gonna look at is this Charles Woodson away jersey and one thing you may not know if you don't know how the uh, Raiders jerseys look is when Nike redesigned the NFL um, uniform the Raiders were one of the few teams that decided to stay with the classic style and not use the fly wire and all the new technology I think it was like the Raiders, Panthers, Packers, Falcons and maybe one or two other teams that stayed with this um, same style so you'll see we zoom in on the collar it's just the old school, normal uh, collar. It doesn't have the fly wire. This is how it normally is. And you can see that the rest of the jersey just has the same old school peel. It's not the mesh for the heat zones. I'm not, I'm not even sure if this is waterproof. I haven't done that check. We can just start getting into the jersey. First thing you notice is the NFL shield might be just a little crooked. And you can see a couple of loose threads on there. Not that big of a deal to me because I saw this one um, Khalil Mack jersey that this guy reviewed from Jenny Loop NFL uh, shield. Like the point down here was like pointing like if we're looking at a clock, it was pointing at the the seven <laughs> hand or the, or the eight hand. Just crazy looking. So this ain't too bad. Um, look up in here. You can see that the uh, size tag is stitched on. It looks like it should be there pretty good. I've seen some people say that. After they wash it, it might come off, but this looks pretty pretty solid. We have the size 40, which is a medium. You have the little silver stuff and the little individualized barcode. Now uh, you can see the M for the medium size. See made in Honduras, NFL players, all that good stuff. Oh, and one thing about sizing, just if you are curious, the sizing can be inconsistent with these jerseys, it seems like, because we'll get to a little bit later, because one of the jerseys that says 44, actually fits more like a 40 and just to give you an idea um, you can look at the measurements on the NFL website just to see what jersey might fit you best if you don't know um, I'm 5'10 175 pretty skinny dude and the medium fits pretty good the large is just a little bit long so if they had like a 42 I don't know what that would be maybe an extra medium <laughs> that might fit me a little bit better but so just if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you you can see got our Nike swoosh on the sleeve over here. Uh, it's like the little, it's not completely sewn onto the jersey. It's like the little patch that they sew in. You can see the numbers down here. They're pretty, pretty solid. It's like the silver background with the main black base. Pretty good. Um, see a couple of loose threads here. The numbers, they look pretty good as well on the front. And I've seen some jerseys like maybe the size of the number might be off but this looks pretty good for me especially for the price because they're really cheap uh, another thing i always look at on these jerseys is the jock tag as you can see this is like the black 
dark gray um, material and it should kind of like reflect the light bounce the light off I don't know if you can see it with the uh, camera but this is pretty good I've seen some that are like light gray and that's off but all the ones that I got from this uh, order were pretty good one thing you can also look for would be a tag on the inside that has like the instructions of where it was made and how to wash it and everything this one doesn't have it and I don't think any of the Jenny Loop jerseys had it um, it's not that big of a deal because it's on the inside some of the jerseys might have them because I've seen some reviews where they actually had it and it looked pretty legit um, and also comes with the tags and these are the same ones you'll see on the regular jerseys uh, you can see it has that little hologram I don't know if it's the exact same one but it's decent uh, if you need this type of stuff if you need the tags or anything so that's not a bad deal I don't know something's probably supposed to be here but it's not there so we can flip this one over to the back one little thing on the back you might notice uh, there's this thread I can cut that easily and also one thing the Woodson like the nameplate it looks a little crooked I don't know if it's the name is stitched on crooked or if just the piece of cloth they use is a little bit bigger so that's not that big of a deal to me like I said it's a cheap jersey you can see that there isn't too much connection on the name it's just this one with the S and the O it's not that big of a deal to me overall this is uh, I'm, I'm satisfied with this pretty good jersey um, for the price especially so that's the Woodson throw that over here next up we have the uh, Khalil Mack um, first round draft pick of the Raiders this year and first thing about this jersey is you'll notice at least I noticed it since it's not like a, a double stitch number it's pretty thin I don't know if you can see it when I'm reviewing it but if you had any of those um, older Reebok premier jerseys there was like a step down from the authentic that's how I can describe these numbers it's pretty thin uh, it's not that bad though it's get what you pay for I guess when it comes to these things so there's just one thing to look out for it might be any time like this when they just use the um, numbers that don't have the background border um, so next up we can look at the NFL shield you see might be just a tag cricket got a little loose thread I can take care of that no big deal and we have our tag it's stitched in there maybe glued in there uh, looks good has a little barcode little um, silver stuff the different languages for the uh, size go to our sleeves we have our sleeve numbers and get this crease out of here Nike swoosh looks decent one thing check out the colors on because this is a uh, another Raiders jersey behind it this is a Marcel Reese jersey I don't know if you can see just the comparison of the number or the, or the color of the uh, Nike swoosh is a little bit dark on the Reese jersey it is what it is like you can tell they're not all uh, from the same batch I guess uh, this one jack tag is the decent color I think it might be a little bit high it's like a little bit of a discoloration on it but it's all good uh, this one doesn't have that inside tag either it tells you the instructions flip it over Got Mac on the back. The uh, name place seems to be different. It's a little bit, if you can notice it, it's like a little bit uneven right there, but that's not that big of a deal. We got our tags once again, hologram, all that good stuff. So that's a decent jersey, too. Next one is going to be the Marcel Reese, and this one's a little bit weird. <laughs> First off, you'll see that we got a lot of uh, loose threads here. That's easy to take care of but this little size identifier it's like sewn into the uh, the collar which is weird I think we can take care of that just by either cutting or ripping it off and I don't know if you can tell hey, let me get that other jersey but look how narrow this neck opening is on the Reese jersey compared to the Khalil Mack jersey like it's see if I can zoom in a little bit so that's one of the things I saw in my previous video. Like I tried to put this Reese jersey on and it was 
pretty so that's one thing with this Reef jersey you see we have that 44 number tag and we have this tight neck um, so you might get this uh, with the tight neck or it might have a normal neck it's just like a crap shoe because you never know there's no quality control this stuff is unauthorized all that good stuff so you can see it has the tag in there that all looks good but the problem with this one it says 44 here it says 44 here but it fits more like a 40 um, which is kind of crazy because <laughs> it should be a large so if you're expecting a large you would hope that it would fit like that so i don't know what happened with this one it even went to the extreme measure to have this number 44 here too but it it may be tagged a 44 but it fits like a 40. uh here's another loose thread that can be cut let's go to the back you got reese number 45 another loose thread it's like they use the same uh, numbers put it on the back uh this name plate not bad um you know a little bit of uh unevenness we got our sleeve we got our tag uh got the small 45 on the sleeve these creases are gonna be tough to get i was like every four in this batch <laughs> had that little connection you can see this swoosh i was talking about it might not even be the same color as the rest of the silver but let's see if this yeah this four has that little <laughs> thread too don't know what happened there uh, but that's the Marcel Reese jersey next up uh, we switch gears a little bit from the uh, NFL jerseys and we get to NBA jersey uh, this is a throwback Sean Kemp Sonics jersey and a few quick things on this one it it looks pretty good like it'll pass the eye test but one thing to notice is the yellow around the neck and the sleeves and even right here above the little sonics it's a little bit darker than the actual jersey but whatever the nba logo looks pretty good we got our little hardwood classics tags uh, mitchell and ness tags another thing that's a little different from the actual real jersey is these numbers might be a little bit smaller than the regular jersey and also um if i recall correctly because i grew up a, a sonics fan they were screen printed on the actual jerseys they wore in the uh, 90s. So, but it's not bad to have this little because these are stitched. It's a it's a lightweight uh, stitch, so it's not that bad to have a little stitch on it. Um, you can see this little tag down here, Mitchell and Ness Hardwood Classic size medium. So on the back, this Kemp. can see name camp it looks spaced out decently um, got the 40 on the back like numbers might be a little bit smaller than normal but overall it's not a, it's not a bad look for for the price because all the jerseys on there end up being like 21.99 but you got to watch out for the uh foreign transaction fees and uh additional taxes you may pay things like that but either it, it still ends up being very very cheap so that's the camp jersey Next up, got this Dwayne Wade Marquette jersey. And this is actually pretty pretty true to form um, from what I looked at, except for like the Nike tag thing. That might not have been there on the authentic. We got all these, um, all this extra material information just letting you know about the jersey, all the tags. We got our size tag. And this is funny, I've seen this a lot. You got, it's a medium jersey, but you see the TG and the EG. That signifies extra large in, in different languages, so I, I don't know. I guess because it comes from China. <laughs> I'll speak English, so they don't know. Uh, that's pretty much true to form of the jersey. You can see these numbers are stitched. It's like the little thinner one, but it's still pretty good. I don't know, and I'll have to look again. The M and the A, you can see they look a little bit different than the rest of the letters because there's no cutout here, but it is what it is like so that's like the main flaw of seeing you see a little bit of loose stitching um nike team sports engineered to the exact specification championship athletes medium and we can look at the back this weight got weight got number three. Oh, and off topic 
<laughs> been watching Dwayne Wade play for a while, and I just realized this summer that he spells his name ridiculously. D-W-Y-A-N-E. I just saw what I wanted to see for all these years. That's off topic, though. <laughs> so that's the Dwayne Wade jersey. And another thing about these uh, basketball jerseys, all these ones that I have here are mediums, but they all fit a little bit different. So that's another one, one of those things you get with no quality control based on where these are coming from. Another funny thing, so you see this jersey has all these tags, all these Nike tags. The funny thing about the Memphis jersey when D. Rose was there, they were actually in the Adidas school. So it's funny that <laughs> these are Nike. And this has that uh, error with the, the size tag. So you see it's a medium, but it has XL in the different languages. So there's Tigers, you can see a little bit of uh, connections with the threads. The Memphis looks pretty good. 2-3 looks good. Little side piping looks pretty good. True to form for the most part. We got our Nike Team Sports logo. Looks kind of suspect, but just a tag. Uh, looks a little bit different from that D-Wade one too because it doesn't have a little spot for the number. But overall, this, this ain't bad. Uh, decent jersey. Flip it over to the back. Got that 23 rows, a little bit of um, excess stitching threads right there. Overall, not bad though. Like a few little issues with the jerseys, but nothing, nothing too crazy. So that's the D rows. Next up. They even have kids jerseys and women's jerseys too. This is for one of my friends. He got one for his son, a big Vikings fan. So one, the first thing you notice about this one is that, I don't know if you can see it through this, but the numbers are more shiny. And with all of the, the legit jerseys, it's more of a matte finish. And I think maybe at the very beginning when they started making these knockoff uh, Nikes, they had all the glossy numbers and shiny numbers, but then they fixed it and got more of the mats. So I don't know if this is from an older batch, but it's still still decent. You can see Vikings up here is stitched. That looks pretty good. Um, NFL shield is a little, little off, a um, little discoloration, some loose threads. I'm not sure how the tags are on the kids' jerseys, but looks decent. We got our 84. And this is a Cordero Patterson for the Vikings. Got our 84 on the top. Nike got the little screen printed. Some teams have these things screen printed. I think this is pretty true to form for the uh, Vikings jersey. Jock tag might be a little bit high, and it's I don't know. It's that dark dark gray instead of like the black and really really dark gray like you see on these. So this is just a size medium. Not bad though. Um, and all these still you see they come with all these tags. Yeah, this one even has a barcode. I think this is the first one I saw with the barcode. Um, so, look at the back. Got that Patterson. No misspellings or nothing, which is good. Um, got the 84, and it's a little bit shiny. But it's all stitched, and it's pretty pretty good stitch. So, that's the uh, kids' Patterson. Next up, got the adult Patterson. So, you can see... This Vikings logo is all stitched on there. And I've seen in some of the jerseys, like I saw a Niners jersey where the 49ers um, stitch name was humongous. So I'm not sure. I have to look at a Vikings jersey to see if it's this is too big or if this is more true to form. Got our 84. And this is um, the first jersey I've brought up that has the actual new um, technology. We got our Flywire collar NFL shield here. And you can see the, the different materials. Um, I think this is more of the, the water repellent material, the stuff without the holes in it. And then we have the mesh for, I guess, the, uh, the hot zones or something they call them. So you can see. So this is pretty true to form of what you'll see. Um, got another medium. And I think this one has one of those small necks too. Uh, and it's funny, like, so this one has 40 and then it's an M and an M for medium in the two different languages. We got our barcodes, all that good stuff. Um, a little bit of a loose thread right there. Jock tag looks pretty good. Looks like it's in the right spot too. Got our little tags, our little tags here. Um, flip it over. Patterson nameplate looks good because this is how they are. 
Uh, so the Patterson name plate, it's not the same because they, they switch materials throughout the jersey. So it starts off at the bottom with the mesh, and then it comes to the water repellent material, and then it goes back up to mesh at top for the name plate. So the name plate is mesh on top of mesh. Uh, this looks pretty good. Um, there isn't any thread connection or anything like that. Um, all of this stuff looks good. I'm not going to do a waterproof test, but that's one of the signs you got a pretty good jersey if it if it does if it passes the waterproof. Uh, so let's see. Nike swooshes on the uh, sleeves look pretty good. Those creases will probably come out just with a little bit of wear. Um, so that's Minnesota Vikings Cordero Patterson jersey. Looks pretty good. And the last set of jerseys I have, it's uh, three KC Chiefs jerseys. And it's funny, with these three jerseys, I think they're all um, three different shades of red. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out on the uh, screen with this camera. And they also have a little bit uh, different design on the stripes on the sleeves. So, start off with the Chiefs. Uh, this, this is a D4, their number, number one draft pick this past season. So one unique thing with the Chiefs there is they have this um, Lamar Hunt AFL patch. And this one, like, it's always gonna be a little bit off because in the legit one, the uh, the Eagle looks a little bit different. And this A, it's not, you don't see the threads like that. It's a little bit different. The football also looks a little bit different, but it's not bad at all though. And these ones are double stitched, like at the numbers there. They're pretty solid. Uh, this one has that problem that that Marcel Reese jersey had, but I think this one actually fits like a 44. But so you see that's like stitched into the uh, the collar. It's just something that they forgot to get rid of, I guess. And you can see the NFL shield, pretty good. No discoloration, no loose threads. We got our fly wire up here, looks decent. Inside, uh, this is a 44. So you can see. 44 and G Grande and whatever the other G stands for. Um, and still, all they always say fabric in Honduras, made in Honduras. So, look at the sleeves. Uh, we got our Nike swoosh patch on there. Got our double stitch numbers on the shoulder pads. And this is one thing, I think this is closest to the legit where it's actually painted or screen printed on there with the sleeves. So you can see that, and we look, when we look at the other jerseys, you'll see what I mean. So overall, it looks pretty good. The jock tag looks like it's close enough to the right place. It looks like it might be a little bit lighter, but it's not It's not bad. It didn't seem like it reflects with it, but it's not bad. Uh, flip it over. And you see we got our tags. So you see we got the Ford 55. Name plays a little bit crooked, but it's all good. We got our true to form with the different sections of the jersey. So on the sides and the lower, it's the dry fit or water repellent material. And then up the, on the bottom and then up the sides, it has that mesh for the heat zones, I guess. Same on this side. Uh, got a Nike swoosh, got a loose thread. But overall, not a bad jersey. I'm going to keep this one up here just so you can see the different color so that's the d4 and i'm just gonna throw it up so you can see and this next one is uh jamal charles so i don't know how close you can see the different it's, it's a little shade of uh red is a little bit different like uh the charles is a little bit darker ford is brighter and the ford is newer i'm assuming since he just got drafted and these um jamal chargers could have been from last year so maybe they got the color right in the off season fly wire even looks a little bit different on the uh charles when you compare it to the d ford so you can see fly wire is a little bit thicker on the d ford jersey which is the newer one when you compare it to the fly wire on the uh charles so you can see jamal charles jersey is uh 40 medium got a lamar hunt patch I think the numbers are pretty good. Oh, the funniest thing I saw in one of my reviews that I watched online was this guy ordered a um, Redskins jersey, but they put Chiefs numbers on the jersey, so it was like a completely different color, yellow, bright bright red instead of the dark red of the, uh, the more burgundy or maroon of the uh, Redskins, so that was pretty hilarious. Um, got our jock tag, and this one's pretty good. Kind of reflects a little bit. 
pretty dark. And <laughs> here are the sleeves that I was talking about. So you can see, I, I personally think this looks a little bit better with, it's like a, a clothy material instead of the um, painted or screen printed material. But the screen printed material seems like it's more true to form, but I don't know, this ain't bad. So you can see Nike swoosh. If I can get this to open up, say Nike swoosh. And once again, this doesn't have that washing instructions and all that information on the inside. So, so we can flip it over. You can see we got Charles on the back. 25. Same jersey construction as the uh, previous Nike Elite uh, with the new design jerseys. So we got the different heat zones and different uh, textures. So overall, this is not bad either. And so I'm going to throw this off to the side. And the last jersey we have is another Chiefs one. It's a Derek Thomas. But instead of the Mitchell Ness throwback, it's the, um, the Nike version that kind of mimics what the current players are wearing. So and one thing quickly to notice on this one, I think this Lamar Hunt patch, at least the A, looks a little bit better on the Derek Thomas jersey. Because this is more of what it looks like for the real one. As you can see, the A on the uh, D4 jersey. So it's like, eventually they'll, they'll get it right, but ain't too much to complain about. You can see the tag in here. It looks like it's in there pretty good. This is a uh, 48 or XL. And they actually got, this is what TG and EG actually means XL instead of being on the mediums. So good job with that one. Uh, this one actually has those like clothy material on the uh, sleeve stripes. So this might be from last year too. Or And this is a different color, red as well. It's a little bit lighter. It's kind of pinkish a little bit. And then let me get the Charles to compare. So you can see <laughs> these three different colors of red. So you Chiefs fans out there, if you can tell, it. Like if you order three different players, Chief jerseys, or maybe even the same player, they can all be three shades of red. So just keep an eye out for that. Don't normally help Chiefs fans, but hey, things change. Uh, next up, you can look at the jock tag. Looks pretty good. Might be a little bit lighter, but it kind of reflects. So let's go to the back. The D Thomas on the back. Got a couple of loose threads. Um, you got a little bit of connection on the nameplate, but overall, not not too bad. And then this one's funny. They just kind of like they all come in plastic bags, and for this one, they just kind of threw the uh, these little tags <laughs> just in the bag. It wasn't connected to the jersey, but it's not like that really matters. So that will conclude my extremely long jersey review. But I just wanted to let people. No, just do some different type of jerseys. I don't think I've seen too many um, Vikings jerseys. I've seen a few Raiders. Uh, I've seen a few Chiefs on the online, on the YouTube reviews as well. But if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments, and I'll be uh, sure to reply. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, talk about the shipping. Um, the order came really quick. Uh, I think I got it in about a week, which is pretty impressive from getting some all the way from China. And they are some efficient packers. They fit 12 jerseys in this like little DHL bag. Because when I first saw it, I was like, I hope all my jerseys are there because I've seen other people say that they didn't get their um, <laughs> full allotment of jerseys and that it was difficult to get them to fix anything. So yeah, you can see they, they do work over there <laughs> at that factory. All right.